and Doja Live, Kim Lanters with Ira Vogue at High Tech 2024. Ira, it is so nice to meet you in person. Nice to meet you in person. Finally. We got to meet each other on yes. the live show a while back, longer than I would probably like. Well, hopefully, we'll have you back. But I know it's been a really, really busy time for you. Um, very active here at the event. But can you tell me what your thoughts on the event are so far? Oh my God, this is my, I've been to, I don't know, 20 high tags before. I know I look young, but 20 <laughs> high tags. And this is my favorite, I think, as I grow in the industry, I just, you know, get more connections and naturally I become busier and busier every year. So this year has been tremendous, amazing for me. I've, have meetings back to back with potential clients and potential, um, you know, partners and uh, wonderful startups and hotel operators and investors. And the trade show is amazing. It's huge. There's so many wonderful companies, wonderful vendors. There are presentations. I um, I have presentation on uh, Gen AI this afternoon. So it's just been so busy and so wonderful. I'm very tired, but I'm very happy because. Uh, such a successful event. High tech is where things happen. You know, this is where things get done. People network. Networking is probably the most, not probably, the most valuable part of this event, I think, for all of us. Absolutely, for sure. And the floor, the exhibit floor is massive. I was, yes. We're definitely getting our 10,000 steps in. Uh, and, you know, you mentioned your Gen, a Gen AI talk later today. For me, there's a couple buzzwords that's AI, Gen AI, more specifically, cloud, data. I'm curious as to your take on what companies should be prioritizing amongst those three or if there's a different priority. Yes, great question. So if we're talking about buzzwords, I would start with cloud. Cloud should no longer be a buzzword. It should be a given. It should be a standard, right? I, cloud technologies have existed for a long time. And if you're still a you know, hotelier or God forbid a tech vendor and making a selection between cloud and premise based solution, you should not be in our industry anymore. I think <laughs> Uh, that's definitely frightening, uh, you know, to even think about the fact that we're still trying to select between the two. When it comes to data, that's something that we're still struggling with in our industry. But um, again, we've been talking about it, you know, big data and the applications of data and trying to be able to leverage data for our decision making. We've been talking about it for a long time. And I think from the buzzword, it has transitioned into the phase of slow, steady development. And we're just trying to figure out how to properly adopt it and use it in our industry and take advantage of the new floods of data that are that keep coming because there's so much data that's mm -hmm. been generated by these new technology solutions that exist. Um, and then, so AI is definitely, I would say, the top priority uh, thing on our minds and it's the, the top buzzword right now, especially Gen AI. Mm -hmm. And uh, to kind of prove that concept, um, out of 21 sessions that are um, here at High Tech Educational Sessions, um, six or seven of them are devoted to, dedicated to AI uh, from kind of different angles. And I'm on the advisory board at High Tech here and I help coordinate these sessions. And we unanimously, unanimously as the board, we, we voted on having, you know, quite a few of these sessions because there's just so much that we can talk about when it comes to AI. Uh, and uh, again, there are different angles and different types of AI that exist. And my workshop this afternoon is devoted to an actual like hands-on learning um, uh, of di different tools, different Gen AI tools that exist that everybody can use, uh, an overview of about eight, nine different tools. Wow. Yesterday we spoke about uh, applications of AI in our industry. And also if you haven't picked up a copy of uh, HFTP magazine, you should definitely do so. That's the first magazine that HFTP published and mm -hmm. it's distributed here at iTech. If you're watching the recording of this, if you're not at the event, then there is also a digital version of the magazine that's available online. And there is an article that I wrote uh, for, for the magazine, for the company, for the organization that talks about uh, exactly those things, the applications of AI in our industry uh, based on thorough research that I did before the event, listing all the possible use cases that I could find. And there's tremendous, many different companies that I'm listing there that have already found very creative ways to apply AI in, in our world. For sure. And we'll link uh, that link in, in our, our landing page with you today. Uh, so you talked about your talk, I think, or one of them on Monday. This was all about generating, uh, excuse me, navigating the world of AI. Uh, you participated in that panel. Um, yes. 
What would be a summary of the biggest tip that you would give those jumping into the waters? Yes, um, I think the biggest uh, advice that I would give based on what I've seen, what I've observed in the industry and what we discussed yesterday, and we did talk about it on our panel that I coordinated about the applications of AI in our industry, because it's a buzzword, a lot of tech vendors, I, we feel like a lot of tech vendors are taking advantage of this hype and they're um, saying that they use AI just to kind of, mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, to gain attention, but... Like, I guess the, the gluten-free of Right, the <laughs> yes, that's a, that's a really good analogy. Uh, so they say that without explicitly explaining what it means and how exactly they apply it and how they incorporate AI in their tools. So for uh, for hotel operators that are considering um, upgrading their tax stack and implementing these new technologies, and if they want to, uh, you know, to make sure that they also adopt AI and new generation tools, first thing that should ask they should ask these vendors is exactly how do you use AI? What type of AI do you use? Um, how this is going to benefit me as a consumer and how this uh, makes your product better. Like what exactly is the use case that this is applied to and what type of AI you're using. Because as we know, there are all kinds of different AI um, tools and types and um, the past Gen AI, there is just so much more. Gen AI is just one subset of deep learning that is part of machine learning. That's part of AI category in general. AI has existed for 30 years in our industry. Uh, and others, of course, and there's so much more, but the awareness levels about AI have drastically improved because of Gen AI. So we're grateful for that, of course, but we also need to understand that there's a whole big world of AI past just chat, GPT, and live, large language models. So again, a vendor can implement just one little thing using chat, GPT algorithm. And if you compare that to a uh, very complex product that use forecasting and optimization algorithms that are based on deep learning and machine learning. Those are two very, very different uh, types and um, depths of application of AI. So it's important to understand what exactly, how exactly a vendor implements it. So that's the, the biggest, you know, the main advice I give to my clients always. Very good advice. Now, this final question might be a kind of difficult question. But how would you sum up the future of travel hospitality tech in maybe like one word? One word, revolution. And if I may, I would add that I am publishing a new book, which is uh, going to come out about a few months from now. So right now right. it's June. So definitely by the end of the year, the title is Hotel Tech 101, How Everything Works Together and Does It? Big question mark. So um, the book is about the... Uh, hotel technology ecosystem based on my diagram that many of you have probably seen the the map of hotel tag that I uh, mm -hmm, put together mm -hmm. that went viral online recently and if you haven't seen it please go to my LinkedIn profile you'll see it on my home page um, so the book kind of revolves around that and talks about uh, the uh, hotel tag A to Z so it's the first in the industry book that is devoted to explaining what we have today how we got here and also what to expect in the future so there is of course a chapter there's a chapter on the integration dependencies the chapter on the composition on the buyer side the buyer of technology meaning the the uh, the industry and the stakeholders that exist that depend on the segment that uh, you know that we're looking at different segments and the types of users but also talks about you know the future of technology and there's more than one word there are details so definitely um, keep an eye on the, on the announcement and um, I should be publishing it within the next few months. Absolutely. Congratulations and, and definitely looking forward to it. You know, thank you so much of for course. your time today. Again, great to see you. I hope you did get some rest. I think you've got quite a few on the weekend when I get Part home. Parties lined up still. Yes. <laughs> Seven parties tonight I'm going to. Uh, so traditional high-tech party hopping is the thing that I recommend for everyone. Um, you have to get at least one drink at each. So do you know what HFTP stands for? Enlighten me. Here for the parties. <laughs> just FYI. I just heard that five minutes ago and I'm totally stealing it and using it. You're stealing it, using it because it's true. It is true. All right. I'm looking forward to that. Thank you once again. Nina. Thank you very much for having me. Our pleasure.